Here's a device I've been calling Fantastically Dangerous Mechanical Maglev. Fantastically dangerous because it's got two copper cylinders spinning very, very fast. If you touched it, it would probably eat your arm all the way up to the shoulder. But I thought of this thing in about 1989 when I was on an airplane flight um, um, working for Dynamation and going down to San Luis Obispo realized in the cleft of two rotating copper cylinders if we could put a super magnet it should levitate so let's try it I found that it has to go very fast before the magnet will lift off. Faster. Faster, Igor. Turn it all the way up. I've painted a little white spot on the copper so with a photocell and a flashlight and a oscilloscope I should be able to measure the speed, the surface speed of the metal. Ninety-seven point three hertz and these tubes are about um, 1.3 inch diameter. It's the heavy stuff, Schedule 80 copper. I spread sheeted that and um, that works out to be about 24 miles an hour that it's going. A lot slower than I thought, but it is around 6,000 RPM. This is an example of inductive levitation as when a maglev train flies over an aluminum slab. The relative motion of the metal past the magnet induces a huge electric current in the metal surface and that creates its own magnetic field which pushes upwards on the magnet and levitates it. I've heard that in this kind of setup the magnets repelled from the end of the spinning tubes. I can't see that in my own version because I've got steel bearings and it gets sucked right in. I also think that this uh, will attract a magnet, so if I turn it upside down, it might stabilize a magnet and let it hang under the rotating tubes in three dimensions. I'll have to try it. <laughs>